How are you, Mr. F. Murray? I'm glad to see you. You That's can fine. call me Murray if you like. Murray. Not F. If you like. <laughs> I'm easy. Oh, congratulations on the film. Thank you very much. What got you interested in joining the movie? Are you kidding? The Coen Brothers? Coen Brothers, yeah. You go anywhere with these guys. Right? Sure. It's and a you've privilege. worked you've worked with Ethan there on stage, right? Many times. How is he different? Sure. The same thing? Whether it's, it's stage just, or it, movie? He's he's at every rehearsal and he always is there to support you. That's wonderful. Wow. I mean everyone. Wow. No, no one does that. Yeah. How about in the movie? I mean, how did they how do they help you shape your character of Bud Grossman? By sending out love to you. I mean it completely. They uh, gave you the script, they want you to do it, and they trust that you know how to do it. And they just encourage you to go ahead and do what you do. They give little hints now and then, otherwise it's all yours. Wow, so that's, it's collaborative. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, it's very rare. It's huh. a treat. Let's talk about your character for a second. All right. Um, he is, uh, he's part of the adventure of our friend Lewin Davis. An important part. A very important part, right? Because, yeah. I mean... Small, but essential. Right. Why do you say that? Because it's a turning point in his life. This is his chance. This man is a very important producer. And he just cuts him down. And that happens to, to so many artists, so many, so, so often. Isn't it sad? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. He's a talented guy. There's a lot of talent out there, <laughs> by the way. Right? The audition, by the way, the audition is nerve-wracking. That audition scene in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this thing about auditioning, uh, everyone nowadays, particularly, uh, understands what that means because there are so many people who have been out of work in this country for so long. Going up and interviewing for a job is an audition. Yeah. And it means, and they understand now very well what that means. It's life or death. So it's not a new thing. Now it, they understand the actor's life, the singer's life. Well, but those people who audition, I mean, some of them, um, I mean, they know how to play the role. You know what I mean? Like, they know how to play the charm, turn on the charm, turn on. Lewin so, sort of kind of fights that. I think yeah. there's a little bit in him that fights that. Yeah, yeah well, I've been there. It's a resentment that you feel as an artist. You feel like, at least this is the way I used to feel. I don't audition anymore, but I'll tell you this. If I had to again, I would resent having to say, this is who I am. What I would feel is, why don't you know who I am? Oh, Can't you yeah. see it? Can't I you want sense an Oscar. it? Can't you smell it? <laughs> even before the Oscar, even before then, you think, no, fuck you. Right. I mean, why can't you see it? I say one word, you should know. I'm the man. Right. And it's all those nerves, you know? Yeah, and, uh, and Lewin Davis is an interesting character. Isn't he? He's, Complex. Yes. He's, he's one of the most interesting characters I've met this year. I right? Agree. I mean, I he, he... Absolutely. He's charming, yet can be cold. He can be brutal. He can be nice. Even with his own family. Right. Yeah. My biggest takeaway about the movie, though, is that life is cyclical. Life is just a cycle. Right? Just like... I'm ready for the next cycle. I know, right? The world could use a new cycle. Don't you think? Yep. God it... help the Philippines, oh. please. Por favor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Good luck on everything. Thank you.